This is our WordPress dashboard right here. And basically this is where you're gonna go, mainly here on the left, where you're gonna go to control a lot of stuff on your website. So I'm just gonna go over this stuff here on the sidebar so you know what it is. So the first thing if we go down here is post. So if you wanted to make a new post, this is where you would go. You can also find your category section too. And then this is the media section right here. So anytime you click on this button and you click on library, it's going to show you all the content that you have uploaded to your WordPress site. And then if we go down here to pages, that's just going to show you all the different pages that you've created. Then also the comments right here. This is going to be where anybody who comments on your site, you're going to be able to check all those comments right there. And then if we go down here to appearance, this one covers quite a bit of things. So if you wanted to install a new website theme, you could go here. It's also going to be where we're going to go to create our menu section. And then also how to control the widgets on the sidebar if you have a sidebar on your WordPress theme. And then also too, depending on which theme you have installed, there's the theme editor button right there too. And now if we go right here, this is the plugin section. And if you don't know what a WordPress plugin is, it's basically a piece of software that's going to allow you to do some type of function to your WordPress site or add some type of new feature. And the great thing about WordPress plugins too is there's no coding involved or anything like that. Their job is to basically make it so you don't have to add any type of code or anything like that. Each one of them has a certain job and you just set it up and then it will just automatically do everything for you. And then if we keep going down right here, you have the user section. So say maybe you wanted to allow someone else to access your website, you can create a new profile for them or you can edit your current profile. And if we go down here to tools, you'll see a bunch of different stuff pop up like available tools, import, export, site health. It's just basically info about your site. And then if we go down here to settings, this is where you're going to be able to control the name of your website, the tagline, and then also to editing your permalinks. And then if you click this button down here, this is the collapse menu. So if you want this to disappear, It'll go away just like that. And then if you want it to bring it back, you can click it again and then it just brings it back. And then if you click on this updates button right here, once you guys start getting some different themes installed or some different plugins, this is where all your notifications will be that are going to show you which theme or which plugin is going to need updating. And it's also going to show you too what your current version of WordPress is right here. And if we scroll down, you'll see right here it says your plugins are all up to date. That's because we don't have any yet. And also your themes are up to date. And it will automatically tell you too when you need to update stuff. It, all of a sudden you will see a little number right here. Or you'll also see it right here on one of these sections right there basically just telling you how many themes or plugins that you have that need updating or if your WordPress needs to be updated. So that pretty much covers everything over here on the sidebar and anytime you want to get back to your dashboard you just click on that dashboard button right there.